I know I said we were coming here for junk food, but look at all this healthy stuff we have in the cart already. Good morning from Florida. I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides. I travel all around the world to popular and not so popular tourist destinations to give you a very honest, unofficial look at what it was like to be there. Speaking of tourist destinations, popular ones, I don't think there are. <gasps> Wait a second. Squirrel. Do you see the squirrel on top of the, on top of the, uh, what do you call that? The screen up there? He stopped now, or she stopped. There it is. As I was saying, speaking of popular tourist destinations, I don't think that there's a more popular touristy tourist destination than Disney World. And we will be visiting there uh, a few times in the next couple of weeks that we're here. Tonight, we are going to the Disney After Hours event at Hollywood Studios. Marcus, come on. Squirrel. Disney After Hours is a special ticketed event uh, that goes late into the night at the Disney parks and they have a limited capacity. So supposedly there are many uh, less guests than usual and you can get in a lot of rides. There's also snacks and things like that included. That's what we're gonna be doing later today after my sister gets here this afternoon that I'm really excited about. But we actually arrived here yesterday. It was a, a stressful travel day as always. And when I say stressful, it was just it was just a travel day. Actually, everything went pretty smoothly compared to the nightmares, the actual nightmares that I've been having at night about how this trip was gonna go. So far, all the dreams have been totally wrong. So I wanted to just do this little introduction to tell you about the travel day yesterday. And let me just show you a little bit about what the whole day was like. Never seen airport security this empty. have made it to the house in Orlando. It's been a while, but we're happy to be back. We stayed in this house for a couple weeks last year too. And Marcus and I were just saying coming in here, it feels like coming home. And I see that uh, Alex, the homeowner, was nice enough to provide us with some treats. A nice little spread of goodies here. Thank you so much, Alex and family. This is fantastic. Even though we have all these treats, we are still going to do one of our favorite things that we love to do when we are staying in the United States, and that is go grocery shopping. There's just so many fun things to try that are not available where we live. And so we love to go grocery shopping and walk up and down every single aisle and just look at all the different sauces and the different chips flavors and all the different frozen dinners. And just, you know, it's mostly, a, it's mostly about the junk food, but I don't know. Does it sound weird to you that when we get to the United States, one of the first things that we love to do is go grocery shopping? We're gonna just put the suitcases up in the rooms and then go shopping. the paradise of choices. One of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. Ooh, 
one of these. Avocados here are so cheap. <laughs> there are times at home in Germany where a good avocado costs like $2.50 and here they have five for $5. So many fantastic plant-based goodies here, although I have to say we are getting much better with that in Germany too. I know I said we were coming here for junk food, but look at all this healthy stuff we have in the cart already. And so many hot sauces. We're already back at home now. Usually when we do our shopping run, what we like to do is literally go up and down every aisle and just look at everything. And if there's something that looks interesting to us, we put it in the cart. This time we just started feeling really tired and kind of grumpy. We got into that situation couples if you've been together for a long time let me know if you can relate to this where no matter what the one person says the other person always asks them to repeat it like as if you're not just standing right next to each other that happens to us and we got to that phase and that's when we decided okay we better shorten this journey tonight and we just grabbed two frozen pizzas one tombstone original supreme one real good oh i didn't realize it was a grain-free crust I was more interested in the Beyond Meat sausage on it. I mean, we did buy a bunch of other stuff too. We just didn't buy as much as we usually did. We spent about $160. And now I'm trying to preheat the oven here for our pizzas. And I think it's going. First meal in the United States, a gluten-free, I think it's a vegan pizza, which was unintentional, but uh, I put some avocado on it and we've been chomping on these chips that are really spicy but very tasty and this stuff is the bomb we've been waiting about six months <laughs> to try this again because we bought it last time we were here and used up our whole supply so quickly this stuff is amazing I grabbed the other camera out of my backpack now, so if you're confused about why all of a sudden the lighting and my skin and everything looks different, it's because this is the better camera. A lot of what I film and have filmed, like so many of the videos that uh, you've seen on this channel, are just filmed with my iPhone. And I do have this second camera, which is a little bit better for, um, for when there's not a lot of light or when the light is a little bit weird. And it also has this sort of skin smoothing function. So you might notice the, just sort of a difference in, just a difference. I'm so tired. We've been awake, you know, close to 24 hours now. So it's a thing. I'm so happy to be back here. This house is so beautiful. I'm so grateful for, yeah, for Alex being our host and letting us stay here. And we went out and sat by the pool for a little bit and listened to the waterfall and, did not go swimming, but I got my feet wet. I'm sorry to all of you out there who don't like looking at feet and to all of you who do like looking at feet. You're welcome. I did not unpack my suitcase. I got a couple of things out of my backpack and it is time to go to bed. In the next uh, couple of days, in the next few videos, uh, you'll see tomorrow my sister gets here. And tomorrow night we're going to the Disney After Hours event. Disney After Hours is an extra ticket event where you pay even more money than it costs to spend the whole day in the park to only get like three or four hours in the park. But the reason that it's attractive is because there is a very limited capacity and snacks and treats are included. So we're gonna try this out at Disney's Hollywood Studios tomorrow and hopefully get to see the new version of Fantasmic, which is a gigantic big outdoor spectacular that closed because of the pandemic and had not reopened until not very long ago. So Disney has been back open for a while, but Fantasmic, which is like one of the big nighttime spectaculars had not been opened, but they revamped it, added some new elements to it. And we're looking forward to seeing that and just seeing what are these after hours events like? Is it really worth it? What are the snacks like? 
those kind of things. We're going to be going to SeaWorld, we're going to be going to Busch Gardens, we're going to be going to Discovery Cove, we will be visiting Islands of Adventure as well. Many thanks to one of you who also helped make that happen. So those are the kind of videos that are coming up on this channel in the next few weeks. I would be really happy if you stick around and watch them. If that's not your thing and you're not entertained by just watching me do whatever I do, then yeah, take a break and I'll see you in a couple weeks because we do have cruises coming up here too. I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides. See you soon.